J. Cool. Mother Africa, Mother Africa, come on, Mother Africa, I'm coming home. Welcome to Coop's Corner. Come along for the journey. It's a lifestyle, and it's all about learning. I love you, Africa. What's going on, everybody? It's your man J. Coop, and today we got a very special video plan. If you don't know, I am currently in Nairobi, Kenya, and yes, that is on the continent of Africa, baby. I still can't believe it. But today, we are gonna be going to check out a clinic that does hair transplants. Yes, guys, hair transplants. I mentioned in my $1 haircut video that I wanted to get a hair transplant and I really mean it guys this isn't the first time that I considered getting this procedure done I was actually gonna go to Turkey and get it done but this was before I even decided to make the move to Africa so this is an interesting timeline that you guys are gonna follow me on the journey with I felt like this would be a good place to consider because they would be putting money into the Kenyan economy and to my people so it's looking like a win win and also it will pull this hairline closer to my eyebrows guys this is my hairline right now it's not the worst hairline in the world actually I am 34 years old but it's not low like it used to be like my hairline used to be like right here and like I specifically want to work on my corners and my crown that's the areas that I want to work on so guys we are going to go to artistic hair clinic we are going to see everything that goes into a procedure like this because this is very serious it's pretty intensive and there will be some healing time so i'm gonna need my people in kenya to support me on this one and while we're at it you know what you got to do right smash that like button people let's get everybody to see this procedure and why they should come to nairobi to get it because you have people flying from all over the world going to turkey going to mexico back in the states this procedure is very expensive the cost here it's a fraction of what i would pay anywhere else guys let's check out this procedure of the hair transplant oh my gosh and let's get into it y'all and you know what i gotta say right Aye! let's get it kind of difficult finding this place I'm not gonna lie to you it's looking a little bit sketchy I'm not gonna lie but let's go we gotta be safe a2 I think he said it's a3 we're trying to find a3 thinking this is it it's looking professional Okay guys, so I'm here now. I am sitting with the doctor here at Artistic. We are going to ask him the in-depth questions. I mean, if I'm going to get my hair transplant done here, let's get into it. Okay doctor, can you introduce yourself to the people? My name is uh, Jared Babu. I'm a trichologist, a stroke micropigmentologist. What normally we do here as Artistic, we do skincare and we do hair restoration. Mostly we do a lot of hair restoration and we're proud of doing it. So we are happy that uh, when it comes to hair transplants, we have tried to become the best in the industry and uh, we are improving it as we continue doing it. For my procedure, can you tell me what all I will have to go through, what's going to happen before and after the procedure? First, number one, normally what happens, a client comes in, we do a consultation. From there, we have to determine, okay, the numbers of hair grafts, the area, we draw it so that we, we can do some few measurements. After that, now we agree on a Pacific day that we're going to do the procedure. Let's say we decide to do it on Friday. That means you'll have to come two days before, do some blood work. There's a blood test you have to do. Okay. And there's some forms you fill in. And then now after that, you come the day of the procedure. So you'll be notified how your test is. And uh, we, we go on from there. So what are you specifically looking for in the blood test? We just look for HIV, hepatitis, okay. just, just minor. Okay. Because by the end of the day, we have to know who we are dealing with. And we see how, again, how we can protect ourselves. Hair restoration or hair transplant, it's a, just a minor procedure. It's, it's, it's a bit complicated when it's been done, but it's just a minor procedure. Okay, so you're saying it's minor. But the pain doesn't look minor. So just give me an example. Once I come in and I'm going to do the procedure, what's going to be happening to my head? First, 
thing what we do we shave the Pacific area they, we call it a donor area where we're going to extract the the grafts from there we have to numb the area obviously the pain level from let's say one to ten we can put it at three it's, it's very minimum. okay yeah, it's very minimum after that now we do the extractions mostly when we're doing a transplant it takes around uh, six hours to wow. do it. yeah it's a whole the procedure but by the end of the day it's under local it's not under general so you can talk, we can have chat, you can watch movies. So that's basically how this thing is. We have tried to make it as much friendly as possible okay. so that you can enjoy the, the procedure. Absolutely. Making you crying at the same time. Oh, God. Like, you know, so you try not to do that. <laughs> right. But by the end of the day, we try to make it as much enjoyable. And again, at the same time, when it reaches to lunchtime, we get you nice Swahili food. You know, it, it's, nice. it's like a home kind of a thing. As artistic, we try to make it as homely as possible. Yes. So by the time you're done with the procedure, when you're out of here, you're happy. And we continue taking care of you until six months, until your hair grows. We'll be doing follow-ups for you. We try to see how, how your hair is growing. You come in for checkups. Once we are done with the procedure, we'll end up finding we don't charge for those checkups because, again, we've already paid for a complete set. So we just want to make sure that we see how you're doing. Everybody's happy now. It's your hair. It's no longer our hair now. It's like, what if I have to go back to America? Yeah. How can we do a checkup that way? Normally what happens, we, because we have overseas client, the most important critical days is at least two weeks. Two Normally weeks. we get clients who they stay just four days, five days. We can continue doing Zoom meetings. We follow up as much as possible. That's very important because you see you're not with us, but we can try our best to make sure that we help you with the logistics to find a specific clinic in your area. Are there any things that I'm going to need afterwards, like shampoo or anything special that I'm going to need? Because we have really understood our hair. Our hair is a bit difficult to work with. Uh, we have really perfected in it as artistic. We have uh, understood that our you know, Afro hair is a bit complicated. Uh, Asian hair, white hair. But when now it comes to wash, we just give you simple shampoos. Okay. The shampoo and it will give you some biotin supplement, the medication for inflammation, painkiller, something for antibiotic. Normally after seven days you come in again, we have to wash it to confirm that the hair, we have taken care of the hair by following the instructions that we gave you. So once we wash it and you see the hair is coming out, we are normally very happy. How am I going to sleep? My whole hair is going to be kind of, you know, hurt. Because we are doing FUE, FUE is one of the best type of technique whereby it has less kind of trauma or injuries because they're punches Oof. those punches they heal a bit within within 14 hours the punches they are already closed by the folding day you you're okay you don't feel anything and because you're using very heavy numbing to take at least three weeks uh, maybe uh, four weeks for the numbing to wear off so that you don't feel pain afterwards so yeah. four weeks i won't be able to feel the back of my head yeah it, it varies there's some people takes a week those takes two weeks depending with somebody when it comes to sleeping either you use those neck pillows okay those okay. ones are the best you can, okay yeah, you can use that when will the hair in the donor area start to grow back donor area within one week it starts so really two weeks you have hair at the back we have not extracted all of your hair we've just extracted a pacific areas funny enough it heals very fast and the hair grows a bit more faster but within six seven months you'll have at least 50 percent growth of hair so what about over harvesting i have seen things to where people have been over harvested and it doesn't look good yeah how do you guys avoid that normally it depends the type of professional people you're dealing with or the clinic that you're dealing with it just depends how the donor area is. We have never done over harvesting here because as long as we know the exact number that it has to be uh, removed, normally we have to skip some areas. So there's a way we do those skippings. We have Afro hair. Most of the people would like to shave their hair. You want to have a nice clean cut. So you don't want to have those punches somewhere being seen. And you've never had any problem with that. Guys, you heard it. We got to keep it clean because I'm going to have the fade. I want my line to be looking good. So yeah. this has been a great conversation. If you can show us some pictures, that would be great. That would lead me to my decision. People can visit our website at www.artisticclinic.com. So this is what we did on the hairline. This is what it is now. After one year, this is what we did like that. Wow, he was really going okay. So how many months is that after? This is like uh, I think I think nine months. Wow. For it to reach that level. This is another one. It was like that. This is like 
five months. This hair, when it grows, it has to look as natural as possible. Can you tell? You can't even tell. Exactly. There's a way we have arranged it. You see the, the flow, how it is, how we can give you a nice natural look, the way we plant, we put the hair stage by stage, which direction will the hair grow, because that matters a lot. So when it grows, it gives you that natural flow. So it looks like a real natural hair. This is a complete hairline we did. How many grafts is that? This one we did around 2,600 grafts for you to have this kind of finish. Wow. Yeah. Now this hair has already grown. The client has done nice stuff there, but you see already that we have already improved. But this specific client, we have to do two sessions because again, we looked at his tooth density. So even if you do one session, it won't give you that full density. Wow. But because we did two, uh, two sessions, we end up getting something like that. Very high density. That's a changed man yeah. right there. He is a very wow. changed man. The pictures look great. Now we want to see, just from you looking at my head, I want you to tell us face to face what it looks like I would need. Okay. So yeah guys, Doc's leaving for a second. We are going to see what I would need. The one guy that we just saw, like that was one of the best hairline transplants that I've ever seen. But he went two sessions. I don't want to go two sessions. I don't really wear my hair that long. I just really want my hairline lower and for my crown to be filled in. Those are the main areas that I'm looking for. Uh, this is very exciting. Still a little bit scary, I'm not gonna lie to you, but just from talking to the doctor, this is a very professional establishment. That's what I was looking for, and he knows what he's doing. And also, people with Afro textured hair, our hair grows different. We have to go to someone who knows how that pattern grows, who knows that our hair curls back in, to our skin, which causes ingrown hairs. So we have different issues that other nationalities don't. Let's get into it. I want to scan. I see how your donor area is. Oh my God, that looks crazy looking. So now you can see, you have very good donor area. The numbers of follicles that you're getting, I can see you have almost doubles, doubles, triples. This is freaky, dog. And we don't extract singles. So when you heal, nobody will tell exactly what happened. Normally your front is only singles. Sometimes you may get doubles, but they're very light. But now once we add the hair in between, with your back, with those thick ones, it gives you now that full density. Once I see how your donor area is, now we, we are happy that we are going to get best yield. Your, that means your donor site is, it has good healthy hair and your scalp is very healthy. That means zero infection, number one, because there's so people who come in, they have dandruffs, they have some skin reactions at the back. Plus we cannot do any procedures. We have to treat first and then now we start with the procedure. Mm. But according to your case, your scalp is very clean, well, well kept, well oiled, and you have very nice hairs that you can harvest. Guys, y'all just saw that. My hair is super low. He put that machine. So I'm going to do a bit of uh, a sterilizer. Okay. Just to make sure that. So in your case, I can see this is too much in, so we need to reduce it slightly. Your hairline depends how you want it, because you see, already your front hairline, you have a curve. So you just need to define it. So definitely you need grafts there. We need to give you some grafts in there, just to define that cut, okay? So we're measuring to get it perfect. Yeah. Everybody has a different way of creating hairlines. There's a way I do it. Density then, and then now we can work on the top. It's like we'll be back in business, guys, with this. When we add it, again, it changes who you are again. You <laughs> have a nice fish. Okay, I get it. Yeah. Makes me younger again. Exactly. That's what I Makes you more young. You, you lie here, okay? So Yikes. we're talking around 1,300 crafts. The top crown. We need to do another 1,500. So the total numbers of hair grafts you may need, it's around 2,300 to 2,400. That would be very enough. It sounds great, Doc. <laughs> this would make me look different. Different. Like. Sure. You'll have a nice, clean, good hair. Yeah, this is clean. God, this is looking great, guys. When it comes to this kind of procedures, as you're going for a consultation, make sure that the same person that you're consulting is the same person who's going to do the procedure. You'll be more confident and you know exactly what he's doing. Leave a comment below because I am very close to going under the needle. I am really excited to see what you're going to say. I don't know if the doc knows. It's something that like I always say. You know what I got to say? I, I, I don't know. Hey! Let's get this hair on, guys. All right, y'all. Go ahead and peace. Yeah. <laughs> okay, guys. I ended the video with the eye 
but I had to come back. Now, remember when I was walking up to the location and I was saying it was looking a little sketchy, right? Never judge a book by its cover. Very professional, very clean, very nice people who care about how you're gonna look. Those are all three factors that are helping me make my decision. This is gonna be another journey, guys, and it's starting here in the motherland. The fountain of youth in Africa. Hit that like button. Let me know how you feel about hair transplants, and I'm being open with you guys about my journey because I've experienced hair loss, but it's beautiful that we can fix things that we don't like. And until next time, quiet. Peace. Let's get it. Hey! Welcome to Coop's Corner. Come along for the journey. It's a lifestyle and it's all about learning.